Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, the number one place for all things beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. It's your girl, Lady M here. And in today's video, I'm coming at you with my eye look, right? First impressions, demo, review, thoughts, everything you need to know about these newness from Fenty Beauty. We have the Bomb Posse Mix and Match Mega Eyeshadow Palette, and I also have for you guys the Diamond Bomb Triple Dip Palette, all over Veil Palette, yes. So I'm gonna be giving you an eye look using this palette. I'm also gonna be doing some swatches. I'm gonna be giving you my thoughts on the palette. I'm also gonna be giving you some swatches, my thoughts, and a demonstration of this new Diamond Bomb Highlighter Veal Palette. Yes, I'm excited for these. I've had them for a while, haven't had a chance to film with them. And so finally today I'm sitting down and I'm gonna give you everything you need to know about these products. Yes, before we hop into the video, if you aren't already subscribed, then what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to become part of the Lady M fam. And while you're there, make sure you turn on your notification bells to be notified whenever I upload new videos. All right, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into my first impressions, thoughts, review on these newness from Fenty Beauty. Let me, yes. <laughs> Okay, so I already did my foundation. I am currently baking right now, and I am excited today because I finally get to use the Fenty Beauty Balm Posse um, eyeshadow palette. I picked this up when it first came out. Um, I hadn't gotten a chance to use it as yet. So today is the day that I'm going to be able to go in and use this palette. And if you know the Fenty Snap palettes, so on the back of this, it has the names of the shadows, and then you see it has the little clippings. So I'm assuming that you could probably stack other of those palettes onto this and you can use it. What an easy way to be able to interchange colors. I probably will go and grab two of those palettes and then come back and show you um, that we could probably stack them that way. Um, I was kind of excited for this. And honestly, I this looks literally like two snap palettes in one. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Look at that. It just looks like two palettes in one. Because this looks like this six shades look like one and then this six shade looks like another um snap palette and honestly the colors look pretty pretty good obviously i'm probably drawn more to this side of the palette um here because it has mo more of what i would consider like warmer shades but honestly these other shades over here probably will perform very well we don't know <laughs> Um, and so this palette has uh, two, 12 shades, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve 12 shades. Um, and actually, oh my God, I didn't even notice that. They are named after the three um, gloss bombs. So you got Fussy on one side, Fenty Glow, and then Hot Chocolate. So I'll let you zoom in and you can see Hot chocolate is on this end right here. And then you got the Fenty Glow in the middle and then Fussy on the end. So if you know anything about the gloss bombs, then you know Fussy is a little bit more pink. The Fenty Glow is a little bit more uh, neutrally, um, very uh, like, you know, neutral, warm. And then the hot chocolate is like the darkest, um, uh, gloss bombs that she had. So that is super dope. I didn't even realize that. So that's pretty amazing. So let's get into some swatches before we get into the eyes. And I'm going to start with the fussy side and the names are written on the back. So it's just broken up into quads. So this is like a mauve shade and a light shade and a pink and a pink. So let me get those names. So I have vanilla, 
care fussy rock and rose and then bala ballerina uh so here that's the one then the next shade and i'm gonna tell you which one is which Ooh, nice look at those metallics so the mauve shade is called uh rock and rose and then the lighter shade is vanilla uh care and then fussy and then ballerina ballerina is this um top shade here and then uh i think this is ballerina and then that one is fussy so that's the first row we're gonna get into the fancy glow row now I'm just trying to clean my hands off. Yes. You gotta have your wipes handy dandy. Make sure that I have nothing on. And then this shade, the first shade I'm gonna go in with is, I can't even see these La Bronze, uh, Bear, Bear Buns, Fenty Glow, and China Butter. I don't know. <laughs> I can't say the name. So, China Butter, La Bronze, Fenty Glow, and then Bear Bond, Bear Buns. <laughs> okay, so Bear Buns, which is gonna be that shade, is like it just blends right into my hands. And then we have the next lighter shade which is like a nice, would be like a nice lip shade. Then we have La Bronze, and then we have Fenty Glow. Ooh, Fenty Glow and La Bronze, nice. Like you can't even see bare buns. It's like gone. So that's a nice transition color. So, so far, yeah, bare buns. This one on the bottom is the mauve shade right there the mauve shade. So now we're gonna get into the darkest side of the palette, which is called the hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Okay, so these shades, we got Get This Bread, we got Hot Chocolate, New Nuo Peach, and Beverly Chills. So Beverly Chills and Hot Chocolate are the two shimmer shades and then um, get this bread and new Nua Beach. So Nua Beach, and then um, Nua Beach and, oh, Beverly Chills. <sighs> uh, Beverly Chills, and then we got hot chocolate and get this bread. Get this bread, and then we got hot, cho hot chocolate. Ooh, I like hot chocolate. Okay, so let's go in with hot chocolate. That's the bottom shade right there. Look at that. It reminds me of one of those shades from the new Pat McGrath palette. Then we have um, the other matte shade is Nua Beach. I think Nua Beach. Okay, so that's Nua Beach right there. And then we got Get This Bread, which is the darkest shade is that get this bread and then we have oh beverly chills and i'm just gonna swatch that down the center and that's beverly chills nice okay so let's go ahead and jump into this eye look okay so first up we're gonna go in with nude beach and as you probably guessed i am going to be using the hot chocolate side of the palette so the last four shades and I'm going in with Nude Beach and this palette has a nice mirror. So I'm just gonna start by tapping Nude Beach right in. And this, like I said, is a good transition shade. Um, it's almost like skin tone, but it has some depth to it. So I'm just starting by putting that right there and to decrease, e. yes, nice.
Okay, so now that I have Nude Beach blended out, I have put it already on both eyes. So now I'm gonna go in with Get This Bread, which is the darkest shade in the palette. And I'm just going to focus that color right in the outer corner of my eye, outer V, outer corner area. And I just like dabbed that color in that outer corner. That's, this is like, a, I don't know, this is giving me like dark plum, like a plum brown kind of color, but it is a dark brown kind of color. But it's giving me plum vibes for sure. And I love this color. It's like Mac had a color called Swiss chocolate. And I feel like this is giving me like Swiss chocolate vibes. Or even some of the colors that are in the Pat McGrath palette. That's kind of what this color is giving me. Now y'all, the hardest decision is gonna be what I'm gonna put on my lid because there's so many nice colors in here. I really like this. I don't even wanna bring it in my crease. Like I am just building it up in the outer corner. That's it. I don't even wanna take it into the crease yet. All right, so we're working on the lower lashes and I am going in with my regular Marc Jacobs eyeliner. This is in the shade Earthquake and I already put the shade um, Get Buns or Bare Buns already under my lower lashes. So now I am just going in with the eyeliner. And again, I opted for no black, just this nice black brown color, which is perfect for daytime wear. Okay, so now that we got that, I'm just taking the brush. This is my MAC brush. I think this is 228 or something. And I'm just blending it out. I'm gonna take the shade Get This Bread and just kind of work that in to the outer area. Just blending that right there in the outer area. And a little bit in to the inner area. Perfect. Yes. Okay. The shade on my lid, I'm just taking this Pat McGrath Exagger Intensifies artistry wand and i'm just gonna take that and put that down on my lid first to help with the fenty shadows so just as you remember me using this before just basically putting that down it doesn't do anything i'm just going to cover that up and then I'm gonna go in with the shade and I'm gonna go in with LeBron's on my lid. Which shade is LeBron's again? Doo -doo -doo -doo. LeBron's on top of the bare nude. And I have it on my brush and I am just going to look at that swipe that on I just feel like I was gonna have some fallout from this and so that's why I kind of went in with that um, intensifies from Pat McGrath first oh we look at that oh my god this is so pretty you guys uh, and now I'm just perfecting the eye. Yes. Oh, we. And I pretty much have like no fallout from this color at all. Like none. Which I'm not sure, you know, what would have happened if I did not put 
the intensifies down first. Like, there we go. Look at that. So pretty. Okay, so I finished off my eyes. I added some lashes. I got my blush and bronzer on. And now I am excited for the Diamond Bomb Triple Dip um, Palette from Fenty Beauty. This was also a uh, part of the newness that came. And again, look at the packaging. You can see she has the little snap things. So I'm going to see, look at that. <laughs> a one and done, you can snap the highlighter palette on to the eyeshadow palette. And I'm pretty sure that you could probably pick two of the other snap palettes, snap those on and you have everything you need right here. So I can open up the palette on this side and then I'm trying to open up the highlight ah, and then open up the highlighter palette on the other side. So there you have it. Boom. All in one. Okay. So now I'm going to open up back the highlighter palette. And as you know, these are named after the gloss bombs. So you have fussy Fenty glow and hot chocolate. Let me grab the box. So you have Fussy, the pinky one, Fenty Glow, and Hot Chocolate. And if you've never used her Diamond Bomb formula before, these are just the most softest, oh my God, um, highlighters that you can find. So this is Fussy right there. You're not really going to see. This is Fenty Glow. And then this one is Hot Chocolate. So they're a little more, ooh, let me see if I could get some more. I just don't want to like, you know, mess it up. <laughs> so that is Fussy, Fenty Glow, and Hot Chocolate. And I'm going to apply one of those today. I'm cleaning up my arms. I think I'm gonna go in with Fenty Glow. I feel like my eyes needs a little bit of Fenty Glow. So I'm going to go in with Fenty Glow. I just gotta find a brush, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Fenty Glow. I have this old Artist Couture brush <laughs> here that I'm just gonna use. I just wanted something that would just give me a nice, Ooh, application. And these are more glittery than, so like you could see a little bit of it right there. No. Yeah, so just figure, I felt like this brush would give me like a nice application. So that's why I chose this brush. And you could kind of see right there, see it? Ooh, yes. So I'm gonna take a little bit and put it on my nose. And I haven't really been into highlighter a lot lately, so. But I do like the formula. And honestly, these you can also use on your eyes. The Fenty, you know, products are meant to be used multi-purpose. So you will be able to use this all over the body. And just like that. Yes, I'm gonna actually put fussy in my inner corners. Let's get it, fussy. Ooh, yes. Look at that in the inner corner. You're not even really seeing it on camera like I don't think you guys can see what this is looking like in person. Like, look at my inner corner. I wonder if I could even put the Fenty Glow on top of my eyeshadows and we can see what that would look like as an eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use my fingers though. And let me see. 
I don't really. Do you notice one from the other? I don't know, but let's just go in. So pretty. Look at that. Oh, yes. Okay. I am here for it. <laughs> okay. I am going to um, finish off the rest of my look and I'll come back to do the lips and then it will be done. Okay, I am back and I have finished off the look. I went in with the Fashion Fair lipstick and you guys, I love this lipstick. It is so creamy. It is like butter, okay? Very hydrating on my lips. I did go in with my Makeup Forever liner in um, Limitless Brown, you know, my OG brown lip liner. Um, so I do love the formula. It's creamy, it's pigmented, it's not drying, and it looks amazing. The perfect nude color. You guys know I'm all about a good nude. <laughs> okay, now to my thoughts on the palette. So I have to give Fenty like, you know, A plus for, in, for being innovative. Um, I love the way that they make the product so travel friendly and so easy. As I showed you guys in a video, you're able to attach these two together to make them one, um, which makes it easy to travel. Like, like I mentioned, I liked also that Fenty can products can be used in multiple ways. So the diamond bomb, um, they can be used on the eyes. They can use this highlighter. They can be used on the decollete area. So they're very like, you know, versatile and you don't have to just use them for one thing. So that for that reason alone, I do recommend the highlighter palette. They're beautiful colors. I have fussy right now in my inner corner. And then I have fancy glow as my highlighter. Now they do give you that nice glow from within kind of look. Um, in the beginning, they kind of come off as like glittery, but they're not glitter. It's just the diamond flex that is used to make the, uh, the, sh the, the highlighters. That's what makes it look like it's glittery, but it's not glittery at all. It just glides on. It's soft. It's like butter. Oh my God. They blend so nicely, um, on. So I found another Fenty um, Snap palette that I had, and I wanted to test to see if you're able to snap that in on the palette, because that would be perfect way to mix and match the shades. And I can't really get it on. So my theory could be wrong after all. Cause I thought that you would be able to, you know, like snap other palettes on to be able to use, but I guess not, it's not working. Nope. It's not working, but I thought that would be pretty neat. You know, if you were able to, uh, customize the eyeshadow by adding, you know, the snap palettes, but I can't get it to work, but I do know that I was able to snap on the highlighter palette and that snapped on. And so for me, that's like very innovative. That is like a plus because this just became travel friendly. Even though there's not a black shade in here, the darkest shade get the bread or get the bread is dark enough to be built up to give you the illusion of a black shadow. And like I have it in the crease and in the outer V and it's pretty dark. So the colors are very buildable. The matte shades are very buildable. Um, they weren't patchy. They blended smoothly. I had no problems. I had no fallout. I didn't have a lot of kick up in the pan and from using the older snap palettes, you can have a little kick up in the palette, you know, from the shadow. So I have the number four, which is what I have used a lot in the summertime because of the pinks. And I just really like this, um, palette. Um, so I think the mattes performed nicely. Honestly, they weren't dry. They weren't, you know, they weren't patchy. They blended nicely. I had like minimal kick up in the palette. Um, so I do give them a plus for this. I do feel like if you already have some of the snap palettes that have those colors, then you don't really need the palette. If you don't own any of the snap palettes, then I do think the palette will be a good investment or a good way to start out. 
um, collecting the shadows uh, from from Fenty because this palette probably, as you saw, it was broken up into three like different shadows, Fussy, Fenty Glow, and Hot Chocolate. And some of the other snap palettes may have some of the colors. So I do feel like if you have a lot of these then you don't really need the palette. Now the highlighter palette is amazing. I love the formula. And I just love that this is just, this just became easy, travel friendly, ready to go. <laughs> All right, guys, let me know in the comments, are you gonna pick up the palette or the eyeshadow palette or the highlighter palette? What your thoughts are? Are you gonna try it? No, like, let me know in the comments. Let's have a conversation about it. This is the eye look and I really like the way that it came out. It looks so pretty. Um, I do, felt like I glad I was glad that I was able to use this Pat McGrath Intensifies Artistry one because it did help me apply the shadows. They came out fully pigmented, just giving me the full impact of the shadows. So that I totally, totally loved. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And don't forget to subscribe if you aren't part of the Lady M fam. If you are subscribed, then turn on your notification bells to be notified whenever I upload new videos. All right, guys, thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.